Good morning and welcome back to school. It was an interesting weekend for us and certainly um, wasn't the NTI day that we were kind of expecting. So it is Monday. It is the 6th of March. So we'll do the pledge and then Ms. Dovel is here to sing the national anthem. Okay. So let's get our day started by standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hmm. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave All right, let's see what the menu says for today. It says um, yogurt with cheese stick and Lucky Charm cereal, grape tomatoes, steamed broccoli, and diced pears. So I think that's what we're having. Who knows what, we'll, you know, what they've been able to get in. So, all right, let's see. Let's catch up some here. I did those, I did those. So, okay, so on, for, these are people who had birthdays on Friday. Melody Hesselbuck, um, Lacey Merritt, Aubrey Durrett, Oh, Aubrey's was over the weekend, and so was um, Lacey's. And let's see, Gunnar Morgan was over the weekend, and Zoe Blevins was over the weekend, and Caitlin Perry was yesterday, and Caitlin Perry was yesterday, and then today is Madison Davis's birthday. Um, and that's all of those, but yesterday was Mr. Shelton's birthday, so if you see Mr. Shelton, wish him a happy belated birthday. All right, our attendance on Thursday, way back to Thursday, <clears throat> was 93.5, which if I rounded up is 94. Remember, 96 gets a costume. We decided we would wait and um, do the costumes on Friday at morning meeting, which is what we did. We're going to do that day, so we'll do that on a Friday meeting unless we get a costume day, and then we'll get that back on track. Fifth grade had our best attendance on Thursday, so they'll be dismissed first. And we only had three perfect attendance homeroom. That was Anderson, Miller, and Perkins. All righty. Um, our manner of the week, I decided this manner of the week after being, we attended a dinner, some of our teachers and staff here went to a dinner, and um, the East High Choir was singing, and people were up and walking around, and I was just like, mm, that is so not, that's not polite to do. So when someone's performing or singing or playing or speaking like at a group, like, like when I do morning meeting, it's really rude to be up and walking around. So if someone's speaking or performing or singing, stay in your seat. Okay, that's it. So, so that this generation of Red Oak boys and girls can be um, much better audience members. Okay, that's what it was. Don't forget to check out Lost and Found. And remember that our mission here at Red Oak Elementary is to have academic excellence, really working on our brains, a nurturing environment so that everyone feels safe, and then um, future-looking, life-ready skills. What's our passion and our purpose? All right, we have a um, homophone today, meat and meat. All right, so there's a lot of meat on my sandwich. What I always think about with how to spell this one is you eat meat. So there's the word eat in there, and so you always can spell meat right. So if it doesn't have meat in it, like I'm going to meet my friends for coffee, then you, if you can't eat it, that's the other meat, okay? But I, this is one's the one I always get tripped up on, so remember, you eat meat, okay? All right, cool with that one. Um, and let's see, last week's Red Oak Role Model winners, y'all need to see Miss Nassano sometime today, Carter McFadden and Kaylin Perry, okay? All righty, and then um, here's an interesting fact. 
the actual first animal to make orbital space flight. So that's around, you know, out, out in the, on a spaceship, out in the, not atmosphere, because it's way past that, out in space, okay, was a dog named Leica on November the 3rd, 1957. So a dog was the first one. And along with that one, we're not doing jokes right there, but what was the first animal in space? The cow who jumped over the moon. <laughs> that's funny, but really, it was a dog. All right, I got a stack of Raider Role Models. Xavier in Spradlin's class did great work in music. Sorry. Sophia S. in Spradlin's class did a nice job in music. Braylee Wombles, this is from Miss Adams. She set a good example and tried her best. Let me do it this way. They're sticking today. Kingston Merritt always gets started on his individual work, and that's he's in Miss Houston's room. Stalin Raleigh was an active listener and paid attention. Aurora Goddard passed her weekly I Ready Gold. Millie Jedrone was an active listener and paid attention. Talon Robinson was an active listener and paid attention. Zane in Ms. Watkins' class was an excellent example in music class. Trenton Watkins in Ms. Quinn's class set a good example. Nathan Von Verde worked extra hard in reading group. Mira in Ms. Watkins' class had excellent attention playing the recorder in music. Abigail in Miss Quinn's class had it, showed an exa excellent example in music. Um, Jace at Wale had excellent decisions and made a, showed a good example in music class. Gianni Biddle uh, had paid great attention to music. Haley B in Miss Quinn's class was an active learner and used appropriate responses. A weird noise back there. Abigail in Miss Quinn's class made good decisions. Kaylin in Miss Miller's class did a great job in music, and so did Henry. Santiago Carrera Bar Bar Santiago encouraged a friend. He's in Miss Devon's room. Well, that was from Miss Devon's room. I believe he's in Miss Anderson's. Sorry about that, Santiago. Carrera Barrios. I think that's right. Carter Smith uh, set a good example. Cartier Allen put a book back in the right spot. That's from Miss Smith. Uh, Mia B in Miss McDermott's room, example of a t great example of paying attention to music. Uh, Graham in Miss McDermott's room did a great job making a better choice and singing well. Everly Tesson Dory was kind. Breck uh, Peregrine tried his best. Tyson W, uh, this is from Miss Nasano, made good decisions and was kind. Keontae in Miss Quinn's class used appropriate responses. Carter Riley set a good example. Jay said, Wale, this one came from Mr. Tate, um, made sure a note got home for him. Thanks for being responsible, Jace. Camden Rust was an active listener, and so was Bree Murphy and Violet Goldie. Micah Olson helped others in the library find books. Uh, Laura and Miss Shipley's class paid attention. Bradley and Miss Shipley's class was silent when he needed to be. And Mallory and Miss Shipley's class set a good example. All right, great job, you guys. I love being able to read those each morning and say what great things you guys are doing. All right, um, teachers, just a quick reminder that we do have the co-teaching walkthrough, so that won't affect a ton of you. Um, and then tomorrow is the math, and we'll be sending out a schedule. It may be a little different than what I sent out. Mr. White's been working on something as well, so we'll get that going for you. Um, let's see. This is an old one, and it's oh, we already, I think we already missed this day, though. But what was a math teacher's favorite dessert? Pie, you know, the number pie. It's a really far away one. Teachers will get it. What do bread, what does bread wear to bed? Jammies. Um, who earns a living driving their customers away? Taxi drivers. We don't see many of those around here, but taxi drivers, like, it's, it's kind of the old fashioned Uber, only you can't, well, I guess you could kind of call them, but you, people who drive a car and will take you places, okay? Big cities have them a lot, and you just go outside and kind of hail one down. Um, let's see. Um, that one doesn't really make sense. What's the fastest peanut butter in the world? Jiffy. <laughs> it's not Jiffy, it's Jeff, so I don't know about that. All right, let's say our Red Oak expectations. Everybody saying with me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves and that you are um, always kind. Remember, our hallways are silent places. Our bathrooms are silent places. Um, and remember, I think it's all, keep your hands and feet to yourselves. I said that one too. So, all right. Have a fabulous day. Do your work and do it well. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.